Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm really excited to be here. This is my first time at the CD Mini Summit. The first time I see many of you in person, so I'm really, really excited about it. Um, today we're going to talk about tecton chains and how it works. Um, a quick introduction uh, about me, uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm a developer advocate lead in Red Hat. This year I'm a CD ambassador, I'm really excited about it, and I'm also in the organization of a Kubernetes Community Days Italy. Um, um, I'm author of those two books, Modernizing Enterprise Java and GitOps Cookbook, and I have a link uh, at the end of the session, uh, so you can, if you want, you can download uh, those, those books for free. So let's go ahead and let's start with the why. You, usually when, when you buy a car, you expect that any part supply to be genuine, right? Uh, moreover, for those, uh, you know, expensive cars, you expect those are perfect. And uh, what about the software? It should be the same. Uh, when we use a software, when we buy a software, when we, uh, you know, um, adopt a, a community software, we, we expect that the software, uh, the component of this part are all uh, genuine, are all good. Uh, this is a very important topic. Uh, let me share some scary numbers with you. Uh, those are the um, percentage of uh, uh, supply, software supply chain attack over the, the past three years. 742%, uh, 20% um, data breach, uh, compromised software supply chain. Um, it, but the, the good number also that uh, teams are start, started uh, doing initiative uh, to bring DevOps and security together uh, because the, 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 the attacks are increasing in the software supply chain. And uh, those kind of uh, those are the most common attack, right? Uh, dependency confusion, a stolen certificate, um, malware, you know, ransomware, any 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 bad thing around. But you know, dependency confusion and uh, a compromised build environment, those are also very common uh, attack. So let me start with this tale, right? A software development tale. Here's, I, I really like this diagram because it shows uh, how development works uh, for, for any company, no? for any uh, project. So you have some uh, developer teams that start developing an one of more application, right? Development usually happens in local uh, laptop, local workstation, or remote, or, uh, or, or even uh, using directly Kubernetes. But uh, this is what we call the inner loop. When you start coding, building, debugging, hopefully testing uh, the software, and then you start pushing your code into Git. So you do a, a Git action. So your development in, is in the inner loop. When you move things to production or to deployment, to the CD part, to, to, to quote Jeremy, right? Uh, let, let's talk about the CD. Um, the, this is called the outer loop. So you move your uh, software, your artifact into kind of a automation that build your software. And here's you in this outer loop, you can have a pipeline that build, run compliancy tests, run security tests, uh, integration tests, unit tests, deploy your software artifact into one or more environment, and, uh, and then you are ready then to push this to production. Now, you see those, uh, those are two loops, and uh, they are very close to a, cl forming an infinite loop because when something happened in the outer loop, you gotta go back in the inner loop or you need to add a new feature. So it's a continuous uh, inner loop, outer loop, and uh, the, um, the connection is always a Git action. So you have a Git push, then you have a, a pull, pull request. So you start with the code review and then you send to prod. Um, I added to this diagram, this really, this arrow here, the DevSecOps. So this means that security should be in place from the first time, from when you start a code to when you deploy this code into production. Uh, this is uh, the ideal flow. And today we're gonna focus, uh, we're gonna talk about mm, the outer loop, uh, how Tecton and Tecton chain uh, really help implementing uh, um, security uh, aspect for your uh, pipeline. We're gonna talk uh, about it in a moment. Um, I want to, sometimes I make some history jokes. Um, this mo today I, I, I borrowed uh, Geoffrey Chaucer, 
uh, Canterbury Tales. Uh, um, this is the start of the Canterbury Tales, uh, uh, adapted for you know this context. Uh, one that dependency and the sourd so I'm not gonna say in old English, but this is really cool, right? Uh, because this is a kind of a song that uh, is uh, in to the dependency, the dependency and dependency tales. What I want to, to say is that we're gonna talk today about how to secure the supply chain and how our uh, how open source software like Tecton help uh, with that. Before we go ahead into, into it, let me give you some terminology for those of you maybe not, not aware of these uh, terms. So one of the most common uh, term is uh, SLSA, which is sub, uh, Supply Chain Level for Software Architect, uh, Artifact, and then there's SAST, and then you have might have heard about CVE, when there's a vulnerability, there's some CVE published in, in some uh, public website. Uh, the, there's the SBOM, the Software Bill of Material, uh, the SIG store, but the, the important thing uh, today is also the uh, attestation uh, and the provenance. So attestation about authenticated statement about metadata about the software artifact we're building, right? And the provenance is the record of the origin, the history and who made the change. So it's like more kind of a uh, Git, but more on the software ar artifact. And SLSA uh, is a very important specification and uh, define also some levels. So level zero is a you know a best effort is a kind of a dry run, <laughs> uh, and then you go into more levels. Let's say level one, level two, level three. Level three is really the one that uh, prevent um, um, vulnerability, prevent uh, injecting dependencies uh, not expected. So level three, you might want to have SLS, SLSA level three in your uh, outer loop. And here's the, another good diagram about the ship left, no? Uh, we start, you know, from uh, the final app goes to your user. And then um, you have uh, the user use some networking and they go to production. Now production is the final result of all the, the, the artifact, software artifact, no? Uh, promoted across development, QA, staging, but you, everything starts as a, you as a developer coding and pushing into Git. That's, that's why um, the community, the industry is promoting also a, a, a shift that approach uh, from source to product. And what, uh, what about this, the coding part? Um, when we talk about coding, we, we need to, we usually have use our favorite uh, package manager for Java is POM, for Python is PIP, any, any, any of this, right? Uh, and we have our dependencies. So, um, it's kind of automated, right? You, I need uh, an HTTP library. I'm, I'm writing my POM XML something and the Maven eventually downloads two gigabytes of stuff. I don't know what it's doing, right? Usually like this. Um, and, but if you analyze what, what it's doing under the hood, uh, this is an example with Maven dependency tree. It's downloading lots of stuff, right? And we don't really uh, look at it. We, 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 we have it as a given, but this is also very important is the way uh, an attacker can inject uh, um, a vulnerability as a malware uh, or is a single point of failure if you remember when that guy from uh, npm removed that uh, node.js library and basically stopped the whole world <laughs> for for some reason or if you think about the vulnerability um, log4j in java no that was really severe that that was uh, something the people start recognizing about dependency important after these issues, basically. Let me show you some open source friends that help you implementing the shift left approach. Um, so you start with any Git repository, uh, Git, uh, uh, Git SCM, it can be GitHub, GitLab, whatever uh, you wanna use. But um, most of the time your production is Kubernetes, right? And Kubernetes today is de facto standard for application deployment, application workload. Um, so uh, Kubernetes has a really rich ecosystem of project uh, to, to build software. And one of these is Tecton. And today we're gonna talk about specifically about uh, one uh, extension of Tecton called Tecton Chains that help implementing uh, provenance, um, help implementing att attestation together with other open source friend like Cosign, uh, and which is another open source software that can sign artifact and uh, other uh, software like Claire. Claire is an open source software that scan container image, uh, consult a public list of CVE, the scan the image, give you a result per layer. 
Um, then if you're using Kubernetes, you might want to use policies and open policy agent is really a popular uh, open source software for that. And uh, you might want to deploy software in Kubernetes. So Tekton usually can build the software, can also deploy, of course, but usually build the software, sign the, the task, sign the container image, and then you, you can deploy with Argo CD, uh, but any software for the GitOps, but Argo CD is one of the popular ones. So here's an opinionated open source chain for building a secure software uh, chain. Um, so we're going to focus today on uh, the safeguard of the building system. Uh, so we're going to focus on the outer loop. And um, uh, I know some, some of you are directly involved uh, into Tekton development, but uh, I, w um, I was wondering uh, um, how many of you are already using Tekton? Yeah. That's a good number, that's a good number. For those of you not aware of Tekton, Tekton is open, an open source software governed by the CD Foundation that provides Kubernetes native CI CD on Kubernetes. This means that uh, you don't have to install an external uh, software to run uh, CI CD on Kubernetes, it's native. Uh, you just install it those, uh, what is called, uh, those API called custom resource, and you have uh, pipelines inside Kubernetes. So you can do kubectl get pipeline or kubectl get pod, it's native to Kubernetes. Um, so that's uh, the default choice when you, have, when you want to com have Kubernetes being a CI CD system. The good thing of Tekton, for those of you not, not aware of it, is that it's declarative, like anything in Kubernetes. Uh, you declare uh, the state, the decided state of your pipeline as an API. Uh, it's composable, you can insert in the, into a pipeline multiple tasks is reproducible and is a cloud native. It means that you, it's, uh, it's native to the containers and Kubernetes. Um, a quick recap of the concept, because in the quick demo, we're gonna see really briefly some, some of this. Uh, so the pipeline is a pipeline object, so a pipeline API, that can contain one or more tasks. The task in the pipeline can be sequential or parallel, but inside the task, you have multiple steps. Those steps are sequential. And under the hood, those steps are just container image uh, that are executed. Just because Tekton is a con Kubernetes native, everything is a container. So a step is really a container, uh, can be a script in the container, but it's a container running. And, and the task is a pod, uh, is a pod running in your, in your cluster. Uh, let me show you a quick uh, Tekton arch architecture. So basically you define the pipeline, uh, the pipeline contain the task. Here's the thing different if you use other software for CICD outside Kubernetes. Also the running object is a, is an object, is a Kubernetes object. So you can do kubectl get pipeline run to see the live execution of, of your pipeline. And the pipeline run has a task run inside. So when you run the pipeline under the hood, you create basically a, um, a task that uh, represents a, a, a pod. So, you have uh, your pipeline is the, composed by a task. The task is a pod. Inside the pod, you have multiple containers that represent the steps. Those are the overall picture. Let me focus today on Tekton Chain. So Tekton Chain is part of the Tekton ecosystem. And uh, it, it has been had just to add those uh, um, secure supply chain component we were talking about. How Tekton Chain can do that? Well, it can sign task. Uh, and uh, sign task re result with, uh, uh, with cri cryptographic keys and can also do uh, attestation format like in Toto. We'll, uh, we'll look uh, in, in a second. So can essentially can sign the execution of your task as a software artifact and can also sign the container image that you generated. So you can, uh, I'll show you um, uh, in the demo, in the registry, you can have some kind of a tick that display that this is signed. Um, the, the in toto attestation is a uh, authenticated metadata for one of more software artifacts. This is how it is defined in the, in the official website. Uh, so basically you can sign a, an OCI image. OCI is acronym that means open uh, container initiative. So any container image today is an OCI image, Docker images, Podman you know, generated images, whatever is a, is an open format. So you can sign this, uh, open format container image, and then you create sign, sign at the SLSA provenance attestation for the task run and the pipeline. So not only the, uh, let's say the software sign it, the container image sign it, but also the pipeline run is signed. You are signing everything uh, in your 
uh, outer loop. Uh, I like the logo of uh, SLSA, uh, this cyber deck is super cool, uh, but uh, what, what it means that the signed uh, SL, SLSA provenance, uh, it's used for uh, verify which build system produced the attestation, how the build system was used. So it's a complete verif ver uh, verification of everything. So, uh, you know, in, usually in Git, you can see who made what right in the code. What about in the build system? Who made what? Who, who did that? Who signed this? I is that valid or not? So in this case, you, in this way, you cannot inject dependencies not expected because those are not signed. And um, well, how Tecton Chain know that a task run or a pipeline built an image, uh, this is done via the, what is called type inting. Um, so when you create a container image, an OCI, OCI container image, you have the URL or the image uh, digest. This digest, uh, this digest is used uh, and then it, it's gonna be uh, signed. Uh, so Tecton build a container image, generate an hash, this hash will be used uh, as a digest and that will be will be signed. Um, will chain just sign the, the image? Yes, uh, can also uh, create a pipeline that pretend to build a certain image. Yes, Tecton chain can, can, be, uh, can be all of this. And uh, I wanna show you in particular, like with James Brown here doing the, um, this, I wanna show you a demo. And uh, for the demo, uh, I'm using the official documentation. You know, you know usually I, I take the official documentation example to verify that our, that works, our, up to date, so if anything, and we can send a pull request. But this is really cool because it shows a, a really good example of sign and provenance tutorial. So the first step is you have to generate a, a key pair with cosine. It's a public key, private key pair. So you do your signing with uh, basically this, uh, this um, uh, uh, asymmetric cryptography. Once you generate a cosine uh, uh, pair, Basically, you go. Um, you can uh, configure Tecton chains, and you can uh, um, tell Tecton chain to use uh, SLSA, and then you can uh, um, create uh, secrets in the namespace of Tec Tecton chain containing your uh, your uh, cosine key, uh, the generated uh, key, uh, private key in this case, and and, uh, and the public key. Um, so you you configure Tecton chain, and then you move into the into the pipeline. So in this example, we're gonna run a pipeline doing a Canico task. Canico is a, is, a, um, is a building mechanism, it's an open source software that can build containers from a Docker file, it's agnostic. Um, so this task will generate a container image, this image will be signed, then push in a public registry, I'm gonna put to Quay.io, it's similar to Docker Hub, and we're gonna see that this is signed. Um, so uh, th this is also uh, important, the, the step four. Uh, chain observe all the task run, the snapshot the, the task run, and then convert the snapshot to standard pilot format, sign them, and store them in the, in the metadata. So let's see that in action. This is the first demo. Let me, t let me check how much, how much time we have. We might have uh, used just this demo, but uh, let me check this. So I'm, I'm doing this uh, demo and I'm using my uh, Quay.io registry. And uh, uh, I wanna show you that there's this, um, uh, there, there's this, um, uh, CLI called Tecton. When you use Tecton, you can use uh, um, this CLI that's really help you starting a pipeline. I'm using Minikube uh, in my virtual machine. I'm in my Fredora workstation. I'm in this namespace. So I'm starting a pipeline that essentially will use this task that I have already downloaded and I'm show you what is this task about. So this is a Tecton task that build a container image from a Docker file. Uh, it expects some Docker file somewhere, and then it push this container image into uh, a registry somewhere. So it's a really simple task, but this is just used to, uh, to show you how it works, the signing of everything. So let me grab the log of this. It takes some seconds to start the pod. So when you use Tecton and you start a task, this will create a, a pod. So now this is running, is a running pod in the Kubernetes cluster and it's executing a step. Each of these are steps, so those are containers into the pod. And as you can see, it's building the container image and is uh, and is pushing into a registry. Now, um, let me check what, what let, let, let me show you what what, uh, what this done. Uh, I'm gonna do a Tecton uh, task run ls, and I, I want to see if that is signed. 
So I'm gonna do uh, tecton, the task round, describe this one. Let me check in the, into the annotation. Here's, I hope you can see. Yes. Um, as you can see, this uh, annotation has been added, uh, and uh, this means that Tecton um, is signing this, uh, uh, this task. And also, you have, an, ev you have a, um, an evidence of everything that is going on in the, into, the, into, the, into the task run. Uh, and I want to show you that also uh, your, the container image that we generated um, has also an evidence on the register. So we're, we're sending this, we're sending the container image over here. As you can see, this uh, little tick here, this means that this tag has been signed with cosine. Now I'm using Quayo that also performs some uh, security scan. Uh, under the hood, Quayo use Claire. Claire is the open source software that performs the scan. So not only you sign the, the, the task, you sign the container image with the, with the hash you generated, but also you can perform some security scan. You can add this in your, in your, uh, your kind of a outer loop build mechanism. So that was uh, one part. And uh, I have my script here because I want to show you that you can also verify with cosine that uh, your public key has been used uh, to, to sign that image and then you can verify the attestation. I'm gonna run this, uh, uh, the command uh, uh, so you can see the output live. Um, and we here we should have the, the payload of the, uh, uh, for the, our in total attestation. So we also verify this with, uh, uh, with cosine and then we can also uh, uh, a click called the record CLI uh, that help us um, giving uh, more info about uh, um, what we have done. Let me check, this is another CLI you can download. To, um, it's part also of the, of the tutorial and give you for the, for the container image, give you all the info of what, what, what happened for the SL, S, SL, uh, SA um, um, provenance attestation uh, mechanism that we did with uh, uh, Tecton Chain. So that was uh, one example. I want to show you another example, another demo. This was on Minikube. Um, I want to show you this that Red Hat also built um, a SaaS around all of this. So uh, Tecton Chain and uh, um, the building mechanism can be Canicon, can be anyone. Uh, open, um, open shift in this case, Kubernetes, uh, open policy agent. So everything is uh, over here, and this is uh, implemented at SLSA level three. Um, so I wanna show you if we have time a, a real app, and please stop me when, when, when we have stop. I have a real application here, which is the Red Hat Cool Store. Uh, so it's a store where you can buy cool swag like a Red Hat hat. By the way, if you are interested at the hat, is at the booth tomorrow at the conference. So here we, we are out of stock, right? Um, and this is a microservice-based application. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, so I have a front end, I have a one, or two, three microservices for the back end. Let's say I wanna make all this from the inner loop to the outer loop in a secure way. I can implement in my Kubernetes cluster with all the software component that I was talking to you about. But, you, uh, but I want to show you that you can also use uh, um, a SaaS like this that implement uh, this, and you can do the same on your own cluster if you want. Um, let me show you how this works. Let's imagine we, uh, we do one change in our, in our software, like we want to increase the, uh, the quantity of, uh, of, um, of the software. Let me do this one. So let me do... I want to show you the full story if we have time. If we don't have time, I'm going to stop and show you the, what I already deployed, right? So I'm going to start this um, Java application, the development mode, which also has a uh, uh, continuous testing mode. Uh, for some reason, my um, port 88 is busy, but I don't need it at the moment. Let's imagine we, we want to increase that Fedora quantity, you know, to 10. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna uh, resume the testing. Uh, so the first step in your secure software supply chain is to verify in the inner loop if everything is fine. Now, you know, I changed the code, I haven't updated the test. This is really bad, so I need to update my test as well. And a Quarkus and the continuous, uh, and the continuous testing mode really, really help with that. Uh, let me check what I've, what I've done here. Look, test failed. Uh, uh, Java runtime. Uh, I, I'm making something really bad. Oh, the port 88 is built. Okay, sorry, sorry about it. And for some reason, the port 8080 is uh, 
is, is busy. But I wanted to show you that, you know, you need to update the, the, the test. You need to eventually perform some security scan locally. And for that, you know, we, we read that provides um, what we call the dependency analytics report, uh, depend, uh, extension. It's just an extension that analyzes your uh, dependency file like a POM XML and provide you early some security scan. So before you push, before you move into the outer loop, let's say this is in collaboration with Nick. I have some, uh -oh, I have some uh, mm, kind of important uh, uh, severity in my in-memory database. So let's say, let's imagine in I'm not gonna use in-memory database in production. So let's, let's imagine this is good. But here I could stop, no? I can, I can stop, I, I'm, I can avoid sending this to production. Now, let me update the quantity to uh, 10 and let me push, um, add into the staging area. I wanna show you what, uh, what, what, you, what you can do. So when we push the application, uh, when, when we git push, uh, a webhook uh, automatically will, will start um, a Tecton pipeline. And this, this, uh, this tool is using uh, um, pipeline as a code um, to, to, to build uh, automatically the pipeline. Uh, let me show you the, the source code over here. Here we go. So when you use the tool, it's gonna inject in your Git repo, Tecton uh, pipeline as a code, and for any push or any uh, pull request, this is gonna start the, again, the pipeline with the task, and the, the task is gonna build everything. Now, uh, this is something you can build out of the box without Tecton chain, but let me show you the cool thing. When you use Tecton chain and, uh, and uh, all the ecosystem, you know, you can perform your pipeline security scan, and uh, um, here's some, some, something cool. Not only the Claire scan, so the container image scan, the anti antivirus scan, but also the software bill of material check, uh, SAST check. So it's a complete suite and, uh, and the Tecton chain then is used to push this image into uh, the query registry. So I'm doing the same stuff I was doing into Minikube. It's a little bit more, uh, you know, um, more, more uh, uh, extensive, right? But I'm showing you that this application, uh, which uh, has been pushed into, um, into the production, let's say, with the tool, is using a container image on this registry again. And this is signed with uh, Tecton Chain and Cosign in the same way we were doing with, uh, with Minikube. So as you can see, I'm using the same mechanism from a SaaS, and that SaaS is also adding more stuff like enterprise contract, uh, antivirus scan, uh, image can, container image scan. Uh, so you can really build something similar on your own with your Kubernetes cluster, with Tecton, Tecton chain, Claire, uh, OPA, uh, Kubernetes, Argo CD. You can automate really everything. And the good, uh, and the, and the, um, oh, GitHub is not respond. And, and the good stuff is that uh, you can take benefit of all open source software for creating your uh, secure software supply chain. Now, those were the demo I wanted to do, but um, the pipeline's gonna take some minutes to do the scans, and we're not gonna see this live. Maybe we can check later, but this will update the quantity in stock, and we can have more Fedoras to share tomorrow with you at the boot. Don't, don't, don't forget about it. And what about the other tags that might interest you? We have this panel about uh, um, secure uh, software supply chain. If you are interested in the topic, please join as uh, this is uh, on Tuesday, so it's uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, it's, uh, we're gonna talk about SLSA, and we're gonna talk about open SSF. So you are, you are more in security and those topics, please join this talk because it's really uh, interesting. That was the talk. I hope you um, enjoyed the live demos uh, with all the consequences. And uh, if you are interested to know more about Tecton, this is, uh, uh, I think this is a good book because it starts from zero to GitOps. So there's a, is a list of receipts containing how to build containers, how to create a, a Helm chart, how to use customites. And then it goes into how to create Tecton pipeline, or Tecton task, and then move into Argo CD, how to use Argo CD as a CD tool and, and then Tecton as kind of a CI CD tool. So, there's no Tecton chain in version one, but I, I hope to add vers in version two the Tecton chain part. Um, if you are interested to know more about Red Hat and Red Hat developer, join us on developersred.com with many things of free books and tutorials and, uh, and everything uh, around developers. And uh, yeah, 
Thank you all.